Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. I'm Craig Coleman, I used to serve in the British Army, and today I want to talk to you about the new British Army's and Royal Marine Commandos new weapon system that they're going to be getting issued, and that's new alternative individual weapon known as the L403 Alpha 1 on a £90 million contract. And this is pretty huge news considering you had the SLR and then the SA80 has been in for decades now, okay? And it's the Ranger Battalions and the Royal Marine Commanders going to be starting this, but other than what, Special Forces or Pathfinders, we haven't heard of a new sort of weapon system coming in, the standard sort of assault rifle. We've always had the SA80 as a sort of the main individual weapon, the personal weapon system that soldiers use, even for sort of the Royal Marines. It's a new 90 million pound contract, okay, and it's looking at around 10,000 pieces over the next decade, which is a pretty long time, and I'll cover that soon. But it is massive, and it's good to see that the, we the weapons are now finally being upgraded. We've gone from the A1 to the A2, the A3 a few years ago, which had minor changes, but this is massive because there's a whole new weapon system. So we've got an initial order of 15 million pounds. That's 1,620 weapons getting issued to the Ranger Battalions later on this year. So that's how quick they are gonna be issued out, which is great news for them. They've been doing amazing things and mega things over the last 12 months since they were formed and completed all their training and been to over 60 countries um, in the world so far in the first 12 months. They'll be on sort of working in small teams and operations. So this sort of West weapon system is going to be absolutely amazing for them. It's come from the contracts with Macclesfield based Edgar Brothers. So we know it's going to be a good piece of kit. It's lighter. It's got a lot more in common with sort of the weapon systems that our allies use as well, so that will make it, our skills and drills of our allies and other forces a lot more cleaner, and we can sort of change and sort of pass on skills and drills and tactics. With the new weapon system, it's much lighter, around four pound lighter, unloaded than the SA-80 case. It's gonna make the soldier, the commandos, the ranger battalions more agile on the battlefield. Okay, you've got a collapsible butt, so you can, depending on the size of the soldier, they can then sort of move the butt to sort of suit them. You've got a more capable uh, day sight, which is definitely going to increase lethality. It's got one to 10 times magnification. It's got a red dye sort of for close course of battle. So that is massive when it comes to sort of these range of Italians working in small teams on the operations that they're going to be operating on. And then you've got sort of the new suppressor so is going to reduce noise by around 12 decimals, which is huge on the battlefield. And it's also going to decrease that sort of flash. So when you are sort of making your shots, okay, there's less chance of the enemy being able to spot you compared to when using the SA. So along with increasing lethality with the new weapon system, it's also going to help with their stealth and sort of delivering firepower when on the battlefield. So overall, this is a great weapon system and it's good news to see that the British Army is finally investing in a new weapon system instead of just continually upgrading the SA-80. As mentioned in the video earlier on, we do have a £90 million contract, but that's over the next decade to see these weapons issued out. You've got the range of battalion you're getting them first, and then you're gonna sort of get the strike forces within the Royal Marine Commandos again and get them. And then my guess, it's then gonna pass out throughout sort of further infantry battalions. You might see the parachute regiment, um, other sort of specialist units sort of start receiving them, okay? Te decade does seem like a long time though, especially with how fast sort of technology is moving nowadays, especially on the battlefield. So if you're waiting five to 10 years to get the weapon, you know, they're then gonna have to start be looking at a new weapon system sort of not long after that, because we are moving very quickly, but it's great to see the kit is just continuing to sort of improve um, throughout the army. They have really sort of invested in this future soldier. They sort of mentioned it before, and I always thought whether it's actually gonna go ahead, what's the kit gonna look like? You've seen with the Ranger Battalions, they really are starting to get some really good pieces of equipment. Same with the Ranger Royal Marine Commandos, and hopefully this will distribute lock sort of down through the rest of the British Army. So the new weapon system, it's brilliant. 556, it's lighter, you see you're gonna be more agile. Okay, you've got sort of system reduction system, so the suppressor, which is gonna help reduce noise and flash. Uh, you've got the collapsible box stuck, so you've got the collapsible butt, which is going to make it more comfortable and sort of easier to get into firing positions. You've got um, a two system trigger, so that's going to be better for marksmanship when pulling the trigger for a more accurate shot as well. And then you've got one of the best and most capable day sights with a red dot sight attached onto it as well. So overall, it's really going to improve uh, how sort of the Ranger Battalions and all the other future soldiers who get this system, how they sort of work and operate on the battlefield, which is great news. So it's good news, new weapon system coming in. 
looking forward to seeing how the range of Italian get on with it. Okay, and you'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to click that subscription button and I'll see you soon.